Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on using Adobe Connect. So when you receive an email inviting you to an Adobe Connect session, the first thing you're going to do is enter the session as a guest, and you're going to type in your name. Make sure to include your first and last name when you enter your name into this field. Once you've entered your name, you're just going to click Enter Room. Now this room may vary a little bit depending on what type of session you're joining, but the layout you see here is pretty common. On, in the middle of the screen, you'll see the web webinar sh screen sharing, so this is anything that's being presented by your presenter, be it their desktop or any documents they want to share with you. To the right, you'll see the attendees, a list, including your host, and notice if you mouse over any of your attendees, this is me. You can also start a private chat. So if you have a question and you don't want to use the room chat that everybody can see, you can start a chat with specific folks in the room. Just mouse over their name and then click on Start Private Chat. And then that will come up as a tab down here at the bottom with that person's name in the tab window. We'll click the X to get rid of that tab. Otherwise, you can use the text chat window and chat with either the presenter or other members of the, um, the session. If you uh, type a chat in here, keep in mind it will be visible to everybody. Um, so we can say, hello world, and then we just hit enter, enter on our keyboard and we can get a nice chat going. This is a great way to ask questions during events. At, along the top of this window here, you have a couple of other options. Click on Meeting, and you have the Audio Setup Wizard. This is really important, especially if you haven't done an Adobe Connect session before. You'll want to go through the Audio Setup Wizard and make sure that your mic and that your speakers are all set up. And notice it's a nice wizard. It, uh, it plays a sound. You can test your output, so you're, you know, what are your speakers actually working and connected? Um, you can go to next and you can test um, microphones. I don't have anything hooked up to this one right now, so I apologize. But you'd be able to test all this information and record and then test silence, etc. You would just go through the whole thing, make sure all your levels and everything's hooked up the way you intend before the session gets started. Up here at the top, you can click on this down arrow and you can say mute my speakers. This um, if somebody stops in your office and you need to mute the speakers, uh, you want to take a break from the, but not leave the room, you can say mute my speakers, or you can adjust your speaker volume here as well. You can click on that, and I have it set for high, um, but that can be adjusted. The next button here is the raise your hand or the set status button. So the most common one, I can click raise my hand and notice it puts a little icon next to my name over here. I've got a raised hand. This lets the presenter know that somebody in that chat has a question and then they can turn the mic over to you. Or they will ask you to uh, type in a chat, text chat window. You also have some other options here and these may be used as your presenter ask you various questions whether you agree, disagree. Um, you can ask the a speaker to uh, speak louder. To speed up, slow down, you can laugh, um, or and when you're done, you can just clear your status and that little icon to the right of your name will go away. Also at the top, above the attendees list, is a help button. You can use this if you're having any trouble with Adobe Connect to go out and view some useful tutorials on, um, on the system. For example, if you're having audio or video issues. About that. That's pretty much all there is to Adobe Connect. It's, it's a very simple tool to use. Uh, we will be using it a lot, so we did want to create a, just a quick tutorial on some of the basics.